Hi everyone. So I'm just here across the street from the, the lineup um, for vaccination at the Warden Woods Community Center. And um, and I just wanted to take a moment to, to talk to you guys about what took place today. You know, people lined up here from about 2.30 a.m. last night. Some people had sehri here for those of the people who were fasting. Um, and there are people who brought their blankets and, and have been lining up here. Um, I came around here at 7 a.m. Um, and the lines were, I mean, the line was past, I mean, um, the building and then uh, almost near, um, actually, actually past TD Bank. And it, you know, it, it showed the level of, level of, um, of encouragement, um, how, how excited people were to get vaccinated. And I can tell you, there are so many people in this community that really want to be vaccinated. And, um, and we need to have enough vaccines to do that. Unfortunately, by about 7.30, people were asked to leave um, um, because they had counted enough people and, and realized that they didn't have enough supply. Um, so there were hundreds and hundreds of people who were asked to leave. And I've been talking to so many people and I can tell you it's been so heartbreaking hearing from people who have been fasting, who have accessibility needs, um, a pregnant woman who had to leave. There's people who have disabilities and people who took time off work, got childcare for their kids. I mean, it has been so, so insulting in a way just to see our province treat us this way and for months i've been calling on the government to give us an equitable distribution of vaccines and here we are today with just 500 vaccines for our first pop-up clinic um, and i, I want to tell you you know the, the people um, in our health teams they're doing an incredible job they're trying so hard to help our communities and i know they pulled together everything they had to come here and with the supply that they had and i want to thank our incredible health teams for doing what they're doing um, but we need our governments to step up we need both levels of government to step up and provide us with more vaccine as well as a good system of vaccine rollout we need to be able to be accessible for seniors who don't have the tech to sign up online. We need to be able to provide support for people with disabilities. We need to be able to give people uh, who have the ability to register online um, so that they can do it properly and p there is not a big a lineup. Um, line you know, it was just snowing a little while ago and it's just been crazy weather, minus um, um, weather uh, last night as well. So it was freezing cold and people were still lining up. That's how eager they are to get their vaccines. And, and, you know, for those of the, the, the politicians and folks who are talking about vaccine hesitancy, especially in the BIPOC community, I just want to tell them, why don't you give us enough vaccines first and then talk about vaccine hesitancy, okay? Especially for black, indigenous, brown people, you know, our communities that are essential workers, people are eager to get vaccinated. And here we are di digressing this conversation and talking about hesitancy when you're not giving us enough vaccines. So I want to call out to both of our uh, levels of governments, all three levels of government, to do better and give us more vaccines, provide us with a better system so that we can make sure that people in our communities are getting vaccinated and feeling protected. Thank you so much to all of you in our community who came out. And, and I'm, I'm so sorry for those of you who couldn't get vaccinated. I feel your frustration and I can promise you that I, I will continue fighting for you and continue to do the work that I do in the legislature, asking the government to do better and provide us with the support and, and the response that we need during this difficult time. Thank you so much. Stay safe and stay healthy out there.